If we had an element in a component, we want the space between elements to disappear. If we remove the heading, the space below it should disappear. If we remove the paragraph, the space above that should disappear. The best way to do that so far is using gap, but it requires us to define a specific flex setting and it requires extra divs. So to have the heading closer to the paragraph, we have to wrap it in a div. If we want this eyebrow closer to the header, we would have to wrap these two in an extra div. Using margin instead of gap allows us to have more custom spacing without needing any extra divs. On the eyebrow, we can add bottom margin of medium. On this title, let's give it bottom margin of small. For the paragraph, let's give it bottom margin of extra small in case we ever decide to have multiple paragraphs here. And for this button wrap, let's give it top margin of large. That way, if we were to hide this paragraph, we still have large margins separating the heading and button like so. Now, one issue we often run into here is if we decide to disable the button in some instances of the component, we have this extra space now here from the paragraph. And one way that is often used to solve this is to give an parent a class of margin trim, and it removes the top margin from the first child, and it removes the bottom margin from the last child. So if we go ahead and apply that to our content here, this will work on the published site, but it won't work in designer view because this element is not deleted yet, it's just hidden. So this is the last child that's getting the bottom margin removed, not our paragraph. But I've created a style that can solve this. So this will handle not only the first and last child on the published site, but it'll also handle these conditional invisible elements inside of Webflow Designer View. So if we save that, we'll notice now this bottom margin has been removed from that text element. Let's go ahead and say we wanted to add some margin top to this heading and we'll make that large so we get this extra space here. Let's say we go ahead and disable this eyebrow and what we'll notice is that that heading margin has been removed. There's an actual CSS property coming out to solve this. So if I have this bottom margin here on my heading and I select this parent, under custom properties, I could give it a margin trim block and that would remove the margin anytime it hits the edge of the parent here. So we'll notice the bottom margin is removed from this heading here, but if I change the flex direction on a lower breakpoint, that bottom margin comes back in. So this one's even better because it's not looking at first child, last child, it's just detecting when margin hits the edge of a parent. And it works even if we have a position fixed or absolute sort of child in here that isn't hidden, and maybe that's taking the last child place, the margin trim would work in that situation but it's currently only supported in Safari. I'm looking forward to this gaining better browser support. In the meantime, I'll leave a link to my margin trim solution in the description below that you can start using in your projects.